When it comes to television and television production, there is no show that is more unorthodox than Space Ghost Coast to Coast. I mean, an entire fake talk show made from the remains of a shelved Hanna-Barbera cartoon just sounds crazy enough on its own in a concept. I mean, the creators themselves called it recycled television. But we may have stumbled upon something even more interesting than the show itself. It's Spanish version. <laughs> Get ready, buckle in! Hi guys, I'm Retro Nemo, and today we're going to be talking about the bizarre Spanish dub of Space Ghost Coast to Coast, which seems to be an entirely different show. Now, this is all based off of a clip that can be found in Daily Motion, which is pretty much just a full episode of Space Ghost, completely in Spanish, so I, I really can't tell you what exactly happens in it or what they're saying, but what really tipped us off here is that who they're interviewing isn't an American personality overdubbed in Spanish, but instead a Spanish film director named Pedro Tem I hope I'm pronouncing that right, but I'm probably not. Now trying to do some research for this episode, I really couldn't find a lot. He's not featured as a guest at all on their Wikipedia page for a list of episodes, which leads me to believe that this is just an entirely independently produced episode of Space Ghost. Peter Tempore, according to his IMDb page, is an actor, director, and writer, born in 1971 in Malaga, Malaga, Andalusia, Spain. What? He's famous for films like 2003's Karate a Muerte and Torre Molinos. Yep, an evil doctor wants to wake up as a sea monster in Torre Milonios. I cannot say that word. A Catholic surfer and his gang will try to mess up his plan. I can only imagine what that one's about. Or how about another classic, Lust for Frankenstein? Oh man, oh no, this might be, this This could be porn. So if you think this guy's an interesting enough character based off of this, you should really see a Space Ghost interview. First of all, he's openly drinking and smoking in the interview, which I don't know what television policies were, but this doesn't seem right and that doesn't look like a cigarette if you catch my drift come at me fda also his interview seems to encompass the entire episode which i know space ghost usually had multiple guests on an episode so that part's not conventional either now i really wish i understood what they're saying but it seems like a typical space ghost interview a back and forth space ghost with his bravado and his lack of interest in the interview and the subject being taken out of context to look really weird i mean he does this weird tongue thing that's actually weird so i don't know about that the other plot seems to be that zorak and moltar are are just like ditching the show to be in a food court, but they eventually come back. Another thing that's interesting is they do this weird intermittent cuts that are very Mystery Science Theater 3000-esque, where they're in the movie theater watching some Spanish movie, which I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that it's Pedro's movie, probably? Either way, this points more to the fact that this is specifically for a Spanish audience. The whole episode just kind of seems different, and again, I really can't understand a second of it, but I know that a lot of stuff that's happening here is unconventional for a Space Ghost episode. So I guess the question is, like, what really happened? Who made this? I don't know. I've done a, a lot of research, you guys. My only guess is that the people who were making the Spanish dub really just ran away with the concept. I mean, Space Ghost's production is super unconventional anyways, and they've mentioned before in interviews that they can interview anybody anywhere in the world. Now, the interviews are done all over all over the U.S., all over the earth, because all over the globe, I should say, because uh, it's a Turner product, so, so wherever the guest needs to be, layman, we plug them into a CNN layman. studio. So I guess Pedro is just one of those guys being interviewed, probably independently from the production. And considering that the guests are just green screened in, it would not be hard. Especially since all of Space Ghost's audio is just dubbed in anyways. It's not like his mouth moves specifically for anything. Really, they were just given a template. Space Ghost can say anything. The guests can be anyone. These people really just made their own episode of Space Ghost, like fan edit style, with this weird Spanish porn director who looks like he has alcohol problems. Either way, this is just an interesting case of people adapting a television show for a new audience by completely changing it. And I can't find anything about it, so I'm glad there's a copy on Daily Motion because at least it's not lost media. I guess it's just the story behind it is lost. This Patreon guy doesn't even list Space Ghost as a credit on his IMDb page, so I really want to know what happened there. How did he get this interview? Who contacted him? What are they saying? I wish I could translate it all. Like, I tried with Google speech, and it didn't work, and it was kind of a failure. So I guess if you guys know anything more about this episode than I do, let me know in those comments down below. Fill me in. Help me out with this story. If you want to consider helping out the roundtable, you can check us out on Patreon. There you can get exclusive access to scripts and avatars. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a like, share it, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to stay in the loop with all things animation, you guys. I'm Retro Nemo. This is a Space Ghost discussion, and I'll see you next time. Peace.